In Genshin Impact, the world of Teva revolves around the characters that you gain after doing something called a wish. The only way you can wish in this game is through these banners that have either characters or weapons on them. If you know Genshin Impact, you already know about the whole wishing and summoning thing that makes this game what it is. Let me tell you, there are so many ups and downs with the system because of its luck, but today, I think I have finally cracked its code. On the event wish banners, you collect characters that are rated up. For example, Aito was in the last event wish banner alongside some rated up 4 star characters. So the rated up system allows you to get those characters that you wish for if you do not get them the first time around. So I decided a while back that I was going to save up for the one of these characters so I can guarantee a character and their signature weapon on the weapon banner. I have spent so many months grinding away trying to get as many gems to wish as many times as possible to guarantee me getting both Ayato as well as his signature weapon. Although it took me months to get to the point in which I felt confident to get the character as well as the weapon of choice, I didn't get as lucky as I hoped. After a summoning session has drained me from head to toe, every droplet of sweat from nervousness dripping from my forehead, I had gotten my Ayato pretty quickly. But then came the mysterious, the devious weapon ban, which has taken my soul and crushed it after summoning so many times, and it has not given me the weapon that I desire. No, it did not. So do not do as I did. If you're free to play, stray away from the weapon banner at all costs. I missed the desired weapon two times before I finally got the weapon that I wanted. I have gotten the Elegy of the End twice, although the Elegy is a decent weapon on many characters, that is not the desired weapon of choice. I wanted the beautiful Haran weapon, well, that's what I wanted. So I grinded away in the chasm in Enkonomiya to finally guarantee Haran at my next wishing session which took a very long time to get to that point, let me tell you. Now that you know some of the background story to how I have gotten these two important parts of my Ayato, I was back to saving gems for the next time I am able to do something like this. Knowing this will be a really long time, I have to take months in advance to decide on which character I want to summon on, I did the unthinkable. This is what happened. So I know I'm going to be saving for a new character that will obviously be a while that I can guarantee them. So I might as well just do a 10 pull to build pity, right? Just one 10 pull to build pity. So let's go to the Kamora tea house real quick. And apparently I still have a bunch of my resin left. So, okay, this is probably something that you shouldn't do unless you want one of the four star characters on the banner. To be honest, I don't really need a Yunjin or a whoever on the banner, but let's see if we can get uh some some something nice. Maybe maybe like a cool new weapon or something like that. Maybe a sacrificial sword would be awesome, you know? That would be pretty cool. Alright, here we go. One ten pull it. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, it's a five star! <gasps> what? Oh come on! Oh please, please, please let this be Ayato. Let this be Ayato. Please, please, come on. This is the What? What? I just got Ayato on my last pull. What are you kidding me? We got Sucrose as well? Really? Wait, that means that Okay, come on, give me the money. Come on, give me the money. Let's see it. Come on, please. Let's see it. Please, please, please. Let's see it. Jangling. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, we got Sucrose as well. And then we got Ayato. What? Are you kidding me? I got Ayato again. We have C1 Ayato. Yeah, I have Constellation on I. <laughs> <laughs> I have a constellation on Ayato and I, I'm i not really quite sure what to do with this because now two of my Hydro characters that I main have a constellation and it's so weird because this is my free to play account and this account has more constellations on 5 star characters than my other account and it's so weird why <laughs> why is that I don't understand so my pity is legitimately at 
it was at zero. And I summoned once and I got him at the very last pull. So it was like 10 pulls then. That it, I just don't understand. This game sometimes wants to reward you. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it takes from you. And then sometimes it gives. I don't get it. I honestly do not get it. But we do have a constellation on our Ayato now. And of course, I'm going to make a video on it because why the heck not? So we're going into the main artifact domain for Ayato's stuff. And we're going to try out and see the difference between both. <laughs> I still can't believe I got a constellation on I. <laughs> I want the 50-50 too, which is nuts. All right, here it is. Here we go. Let's see it. Let's see the good stuff going on here. Okay, there we go. We're good. We are good. We're so good right now. We're so chilling. All right, here it is. I didn't ultimate with my Ayato, but as you guys can see, without even ultimate, whatever, I get around 20,000 with my hits, which is a pretty significant number. <laughs> it's a really significant number if you see it like that. Just to see the almost peak. Uh, potential damage so let's just do it here real quick because it lasts an absolute generation so let's do that boom boom now we have all our ultimates up we have everything and we have Kaza swirling boom 22,000 all right 23k was the maximum I've seen 23k which is a pretty pretty big number so 23,000 is the number to beat. All right, it's fine. So we're going to turn on a constellation for Ayato and his actual E skill damage is going to be increased by 40% against opponents with less than 50% HP. So we're not going to see it instantly or instantaneously. We're going to see it a little bit afterwards and see how much it can go for. So I'm assuming around 26,000 maybe. I'm not really quite sure, but that's just the number I threw around. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see boom boom and then we use these awesome and swirl let's see needs to be under 50 percent hp 27,000. 27,000. 27, that was pretty much close that was pretty close i thought it was gonna be 26,000, but it's 27,000. so the damage we got was from 23,000 to 27,000. that's almost a 4,000 bump in damage that is pretty good. That's a pretty good amount. I expected it to be just about that or a little bit less than that, which is pretty nice. Oh, crit damage. We got crit damage. Oh, okay. We're going to roll that even though it absolutely sucks. Maybe we get a crit rate roll at the end. Okay, this is a crit damage too, which is pretty nice. Maybe we get a crit rate roll at the end. All right, we're going to roll this. There is a chance. And since there is a chance, I'm going to take that chance. Let's see if we get some crit rate here. Please give me crit rate or energy recharge, something like that. Attack percentage, actually not too not too bad, I guess. It would have been nice to get some crit rate on this, though. HP percentage, okay. I mean, HP percentage does increase our attack, so I think we might use that. All right, crit damage. Here we go. We still have this piece, obviously, which we can go back to. And now we have a 50 critical rate Ayato with 184% in the critical damage. This is way more balanced than what I used to have. So this is quite nice. Uh, obviously, I still need some crit rate. So hopefully, I get some sort of crit rate piece that will help me out. Because currently, all my pieces have mostly crit damage. This one has a little bit more crit rate though. My crits are not going to be consistent at all. We have a 30% less in the critical rate department. But I think it's going to be way more balanced this way anyway. And here we go. Let's see the numbers here. We did 26,000 right there. 26, 30k. Ooh. <laughs> All right. It was much less consistent, which, you know, obviously means it dealt less damage per second. But it did show us the biggest numbers. And you know what? We're here for that. We're here for that. But yeah, we saw a 30,000. So we went from a 23,000 in the beginning of the day to a 30,000. So that's a pretty big bump. That's 7,000 right there. That's a significant bump. That's a pretty significant bump if you do ask me. All right, here we go. Let's get us an attack sans for our final run here. And we'll be, we'll be, you know, we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. And even though it's only 50%, it seems like it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty consistent. <laughs> We're doing 30,000, which is not bad at all. Um, obviously, we do need to hit all our opponents in order to win, but it's okay. Okay, we got everything except the 
stuff that we need <laughs> so that was that my ayato is now a c1 officially which is pretty nice to have it is pretty nice to have obviously if i wanted to go a little bit more we're going to get a little bit more of a significant bump in terms of his damage but that is fine we're not going to be doing that <laughs> even though i'm really tempted we're not going to be doing that that's going to be it today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking the video subscribing to the channel as well i will see you guys in the next video very soon 